condition where patient develop white spots on their skin having said that patient has to understand that not all white patches are vitally go so by chance if they develop white spots on their skin they should consult the dermatologist and take an opinion understand that how do you get vitiligo you, you need to understand that there is a cell in our body called melanocyte and this is the cell which produce color in patient with vitiligo this cell is destroyed by various mechanisms may be immune mediated or may not be immune mediated and this lead to loss of color from their skin and patient develop white spots on their skin understand that vitiligo is not at all contagious it means that patient cannot give it to anybody by touching them or sharing their articles however genetic factor is undoubtable approximately 30% patient have a positive family history it means that if you have vitiligo there is a chance that you may have a family member also with vitiligo see approximately 0.5 to 1% of the world population have vitiligo So it means that if there are 200 individual out of this one to two may have vitiligo, and approximately 50% of patient get vitiligo before the age of 20 year, and approximately 80% patient get vitiligo before the age of 30 year. See, vitiligo per se is not at all dangerous. It is not fatal. It is only the appearance of the skin which changes. It doesn't affect internal body organs. However, we have to understand that vitiligo may have associated internal diseases also. So I am sure that when you are going to meet your dermatologist, he will check on that. See, this question cannot be answered with certainty. You know, vitiligo have different varieties, like segmental vitiligo, where the vitiligo affect one or few segment of the body. and it usually do not spread to full body then there is a non segmental variety where the vitiligo patches are more or less symmetrically distributed throughout the body then there is a mixed pattern of vitiligo where the patient have both segmental and non segmental vitiligo at the same time and then there can be unclassified variety where you can have focal patches in some area maybe only on the lips maybe on a particular part of the skin maybe on the genitals So if a patient have vitiligo they do not need to be worried that it will spread to full body because it depend on the disease activity and the type of vitiligo patient have See the diagnosis of vitiligo is more or less straight forward for a qualified dermatologist we see the skin lesion and we identify it sometimes we may need a bud slab examination and very rarely we may suggest a biopsy to rule out any other possible cause and also to establish the diagnosis Treatment of vitiligo depends on the severity of the vitiligo and some other factors. It can be treated with the use of creams and ointment, or the doctor may decide to add on some oral medication. We can also use phototherapy in the form of neuroband phototherapy or eczema laser for the treatment of vitiligo. And if your vitiligo is stable, that is, it is not increasing nor decreasing for certain period of time, vitiligo surgeries can also be done in order to treat the patient.